What's good, everybody? It's next up Productions here. And today we're going to be doing a throwback Thursday. Every Thursday, I'm going to try to release a video with a throwback player. And today we're doing Carson Edwards, Purdue guard. So Carson Edwards at Purdue was very interesting going into the draft because he had a very long leash, as we'll see in this video. Like, he was, he one, he shot a lot of threes, like, I'm pretty sure he shot more threes than he shot twos all season, which is crazy. And just that alone is just not sustainable. Um, And, like, again, he was a really good shooter. Like, again, like right here, most of the time this is what they'll do. They'll have him go to the baseline, then run off, like, two or three screens, get a wide open shot. Shoot off them. He was a great movement shooter, but like outside of that, he really didn't do anything. He was like, he wasn't really a great playmaker, as you see right here. He got a seven three big man, just feed the big man right here, but instead he just like picks it up. He really didn't have a great dribble package. Again, he had a really long leash. This was his second shot of the game. I'm pretty sure, super deep three, long leash, but. He really didn't have a lot of – he didn't really have a crazy good handle. He couldn't really separate that much. Um, Driving downhill was kind of wonky because, again, he's only, like, 5'11", 5'10", so. But, like, you couldn't deny that the just sheer amount of threes that, like, he would just shoot and make. But, again, he was – he literally was the embodiment of live or die by the three. And, again, when they went down, it was electric. But some games, they didn't go down, and it was just kind of like he's forcing it. Like, I'm pretty sure in this game, he shot, like, eight. I think he shot, like, less than ten shots in the – shots in the uh, – shots in the three-point line and then shot, like, 16 shots outside. But he still ended with 42. So, like, it's kind of like, what do you say to that? Like, do you uh, – and again, like I said, he didn't really separate. Like he, most of his shots were just tough shots. And again, he wasn't really a good playmaker, as you'll see right here. Kind of gets stuck right here and just throws a bad pass. Like he wasn't a good playmaker. Again, didn't really create a lot of separation, but was a super tough shot maker. Like. Even when you go to, like, some of his NBA games, like, I'm pretty sure he had, like, a 30-point game his rookie season. Even when you go back and watch that game, it was just straight tough shots. Like, he never really, he never really, uh, never really just created space, as you see right here. Like, he's boxed. Like, as a shorter guard, you have to be able to create space. And it, is, and it just forces him into a terrible shot. But driving wise, it was kind of like wonky because like he had the body to be a pretty good finisher. It just was like sometimes he was good, sometimes he was not. As you see with a good little reverse, and again, the sh just the just the sheer three point prowess he had was ridiculous. And like I said, like he had the body to be a great finisher, but he just never really was it. Like. He didn't really have great touch around the basket. And it was just like and and it was just pretty mid, honestly. And when you go to his excuse me, NBA stats, uh, a lot of it was just like it was just bad efficiency because he was so used to having a long leash and shooting only threes. And like not really shooting that many whistle names. Cause again, like like I said right here, just Never really, I couldn't really separate. Would drive. He would drive into a lot of help and just get himself in trouble. And again, like as a shorter uh, guard, you could, you probably could have just been able to float this over top of him, but he tried to like power through him for some reason. And again, the handle wasn't that good. As you see right here, he tries to snake and kind of just loses it. 
And then zip turn it over. Again, with like how strong he was, he should have been a better finisher in college. But again, which again, I get why the Purdue coach gave him such a long leash because like, what you gonna do when like you got players doing this? Like you can't tell them not to do that. And and defensively, he was pretty like, it was really just screens for him. That was the main thing. It was just like. He would just get caught on screens. Like, he could not fight over screens for anything. And it was just, like, it was just super tough again, like I said. Like, and he wasn't really a good vertical athlete either. Like, he wasn't super bouncy. And, like, and with the lack of bounce and the lack of finesse kind of cooked him in, cooked him in finishing. Now, he was a... Like, this is a decent read, but it's just a bad pass right there. And it's just super it's just super tough to see because he was one of my favorite players to watch in college basketball. I honestly thought he was going to be, like, a super like – I thought he was going to be great at the pro level. But just the fact that he didn't do – the fact that he wasn't a good finisher or didn't really have any other offensive game outside of shooting threes in college just – kind of cooked him and he never really developed anything other than shooting threes in the NBA as well. It was just tough. Again, bad pass, good read, bad pass. Another thing is like this is just not a like again he could have just like Instead of just trying to go into him, trying to get a foul, because that's another thing. He would just always try to get fouls. Uh, it was just, it, and most of the time it just never worked well. But, again, right here, doing what he does best. He oh, he going to run, run off these two screens. Great shot. And that's, that's what he did best, was shoot, come off screens and shoot threes. Because, again, Super tough shot. Didn't really create any space, but it's enough space for him to get his shot off and knock it down. Now that's just that's just a super tough play that I like. He was really good at just like finding the space to get the to get his shot off. He just never really was good at creating the space himself. Cause again, he could get his shot off very easily. It just he never was really good at creating it for himself, which was his problem. Again, handle was kind of questionable at times, especially against longer defenders. Defense was definitely questionable, as you see right here. Again, just ridic like he would just shoot some ridiculous shots. Basically, logo range three, three while down eight. And again, you see him try to follow Kyle Guy and ends up getting caught on the screen and just not able to fight around it at all. Yeah, he missed the shot, but like that's a shooter. You can't let the shooter just get a wild of him look like that. Again, when he when you have a long leash and you get to shoot as many shots, you're gonna shoot some bad shots. Like it's twenty it's twenty seconds left in the shot clock and you're shooting a off the dribble, nobody else has touched the ball, logo three-pointer. Yeah, you're hot, but, like, that's just not a good shot at all. And then right here, again, the handle was very questionable. And it was just tough. I feel like Carson Edwards is, like, when we're talking about just pure, pur purely three-point prospects, he's up there with some of the best. It's just... He never really developed any other part of the game besides shooting threes, and that's what kind of cooked him. That's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe. And if there's any other players that you want me to break down, put them in the comment section below. And if nobody told you today, I love you, but God loves you more. Stay blessed.